Hey guys, it's Angry Admin here from AngrySysOps.com and today I will tell you how to create custom ESX ISO. After a few attempts using PowerShell, I gave up and I said I can go that rabbit hole and clear all the errors and everything or I can just use auto deploy function in my vCenter. So let's do it. The question is why do I need custom ISO? The use case in my uh, case is that I got uh, the Nuke device, um, which is the custom built uh, small computer, which I'll be using as my server. And for that, I need to use Ethernet cable adapter. It's USB to Ethernet. And those drivers are not supported by VMware. Thankfully for us, there is something like VMware Community Flings. And this Flings has a drivers which we need incorporate into ISO. And my idea was to use simple um, PowerShell, uh, but it appears that um, because I have the um, Visual Code Studio and I have a different version of uh, Python and the version uh, of PowerShell and everything gives me error after error after error. Uh, we just used a simply vCenter to incorporate those drivers. Okay, um, let's do it. There's a few pre-requirements, uh, prerequisites. Uh, so the first thing we need to log into VAMI. VAMI is your vCenter uh, server address and port 5480. Now we need to switch on two services auto deploy so you just highlight a click start they not automatically start so you have to do it manually once we have auto deploy started now we need to start on image builder service and just start okay now we need to have our uh, iso downloaded and our fling uh, downloaded I will link um, everything in the in the video description. Okay, once we have those services running, we can go back to our vCenter and we go to the menu and we are going to click on auto deploy. And as you can see, there is no depots. So what we need to do is to click on the new. And we have two options, online depot or custom depot. We are uh, adding our custom depot. And let's say uh, local. Depot. This is only the name, so it really doesn't matter what you put over here. You click on Add, and that's it. And once we have our uh, our depot, now we need to import the files. So we click on the import uh, name. So this will be ESXi ISO 8.0. Okay. So once we put the name, just a name, so you can put anything you want. Um, but just make something logic, so you know uh, what is it. And you click. We click on the browse and now I pre-download a drivers. So this is the difference. It's not the ISO. I, I download um, the offline bundle, which is this. I just click open and upload. It will take a few moments to upload. So click a like, subscribe and hit notification bell. Thank you. Once we upload the image, we have two depots, our custom depot and our ESXi. Now it's time to import our uh, community fling. So just import and USB to Ethernet fling. We browse and this is my fling. Open and upload again. And once you see it's imported, but you cannot see anything here because it's not a profile image and uh, you have to see the software package and here we see the fling. So now let's create our ISO. So let's go back to ESXi depot. We choose the standard version and we need to clone it. So let's click to clone and let's name something meaningful for us. So this is not standard, but this will be a zero cast, custom ISO. And we want this to be in our local depot. So let's click next. 
And now you see this is all the components and we need to find now our uh, things, which is there. And this is our driver. So now we need to check that box. And that means that we are incorporating this driver into our ISO. Click next. And we have some warnings, but that's okay. Click yes and finish. And once it's finished creating our ISO, we have the image in our local depot. Now we can click export and we see we have two options. We can export to ISO or we can generate a zip file. We want to have an ISO. So let's click OK. And it's generating ISO now. And after downloading that ISO, we can use it. And I will be using um, to install my um, custom ESXi image to the Nuke device, which I received from vExpert and Koha City. Okay, oh, well, it's been done, as you can see. And now we can download the ISO. Just click on the download. And here is the ISO downloading. Okay, guys, I hope that helped you. That was informative. If you think so, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell and <coughs> follow me on Twitter. It's at AngrySysops. At AngrySysops on Twitter. I'll be much appreciate you. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.